Welcome to Word Thinkers. If this is your first time, my name is Sibiu. Do consider to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you won't miss a video. Now let's jump straight into today's video where we'll be listening to uh, the minister of Malawi. They have finally signed um, the papers for, for the Bushiris uh, to be taken back to South Africa. But what I want to comment today is I, I want to bring you an understanding uh, of a biblical perspective that I want you to consider before we get to the video. And I, I'll play the video from, uh, from, from E! News, uh, what is going on over there. But before we get to that, I would just like to give you a biblical uh, uh, overview of what I think uh, what is really going on. Because remember, a coin has two sides. So the, uh, we have uh, the victims and then we have the Bushiris. Uh, uh, and people don't really consider the victims as much as I've been following the news. They, 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 they elevate uh, the pastor to a certain level where, and this is what happens in, in most of these churches. And this is a result of, of the pastors being uh, uh, influential in the people's life to elevate themselves to a hierarchy or higher standard. And then we have the followers and then we have the biblical understanding. Uh, and then we have the Bible and then we have uh, the, the, the ones that is, is on the other side. And then we have the spectators, which is the public. And then we have God, right? And so what I want to do in this particular video, before we play this video right here, uh, and I will get to it in a moment, I just want to give you an overview and an understanding. So don't, uh, don't click pass. Uh, listen, give me two minutes just to explain something quickly. Uh, I'm going to the Bible just to get your mind thinking of what everything that is going on. Now remember, the Bible says that the Lord is long-suffering in mercy and that you'll find in Numbers. But what I want to explain to you is we as people are so easily, you know, to we want to see the justice of God. We, uh, we the outsiders, which is outside, we which sees the things that is going on, the shame that has been put to the Lord's name. It's distressful. It is, it is not good. It's not a good thing, especially if you are a Bible-believing Christian. You know that the things that is happening is, is not supposed to happen. These things that the, the people that is being misled, they are deceived. And you see, the thing is this, uh, coming to the followers, they don't have a biblical understanding of what we see. Therefore, when, when they see such kind of videos, they think we, it's an attack on Bushiri. No, this is not an uh, attack on the man of God. This is simply saying, listen, you need to repent and turn from your ways. But I want to give you a perspective today. You see, uh, 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 in the Bible, the Bible talks about a uh, uh, reprobate mind. Meaning God giving them over to their own mind, giving them over to their own understanding. And before we get to the video, let me just read a few scriptures to you. Rome. Now Romans 1 verse 28, the Bible says, And just as they did not see fit to acknowledge God, God gave them over to the deprive or reprobate to do what should not be done so so god is giving them over we want to see the justice of god we want to see uh, uh, um, uh, the name of the lord not being blasphemed we, we don't want to see those things but as much as the lord is long suffering we also need to understand that god is given such people are being given over to their own minds they the, the reprobate mind just just another titus 1 verse 16 they profess to know God, but with their deeds, they deny him. And that's what we see, because uh, 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 this is what we see. The deeds uh, is not the reflection of Christianity. And therefore, therefore, we can see and look into this situation and say, ah, it's a false prophet or it's a Charlie or whatever names are going on out there. But uh, this is just uh, two sides of the coin, which I want to explain. And since they are... Uh, reprobated, disobedient, and unfit for good deeds. You see? They are unfit. As much as they want to, they are unfit. They can't do it. <laughs> so uh, it's not me that says that. It is the Bible. And let me just read one more scripture before we get to the rest of um, the video. Let me just read one more. Uh, Jeremiah 6 verse 30. The Bible says, They are regarded as rejected silver because the Lord rejected them. So no comments, nothing. Uh, let me just leave it at that. 
And so consider both sides when you look at the story. But here's the video. And uh, let's see what the minister is saying. The Malawian government has signed extradition papers for Shepard Bashiri and his wife Mary Bashiri, joined now by the Malawian Information Minister, also the spokesperson, Gospel Kazako. Minister, I do appreciate you joining us here on Newsroom Africa at short notice. Thank you very much indeed. Just explain the significance of this step. How important is it? I think it's the equivalent of your Home Affairs Minister who signed this document. How, how significant is this step? Uh, what it means is uh, there's now progress, there's now movement. Uh, the minister responsible, uh, uh, this is the Minister for Homeland Security, has signed the documents, and the Attorney General will be taking these documents to the High Court in Dilongwe. Uh, what they are seeking, they are seeking for the issuance of the uh, warrants of arrest for the Bushiri. So, yeah, there is there's some movement. Um, does the court now have to agree with any decision by your government to extradite the Bashiris here? No. Uh, in Malawi, we have very independent courts. And uh, at the moment, we don't know what the court will say or what the court will rule or what the court will decide. Uh, in this country, we have an independent judiciary. What uh, the state has done is to make uh, the necessary submissions for the court to look at them. And the, it is in the same vein that we may also not be able to know until when uh, the court will rule, because, as you know, uh, Malawi has an independent uh, judiciary. So it might be done maybe tomorrow, maybe next week. Uh, we are yet to hear. But uh, uh, this has been submitted to the High Court this afternoon. And does, does uh, Shepard Bashiri and Mary Bashiri, do they get a chance to actually argue in court? Do their lawyers get to argue against the step? Do they get to say it in front of the judge, actually, you shouldn't grant this? Uh, come again, I can't hear you clearly. Do the Bashiris have the right to have a lawyer in court to argue against the step? Can they say that this warrant should not be granted? In Malawi, we have one of the finest judicial systems. Uh, one of the finest, finest judicial systems, and we are a democratic state, and we also respect human rights. So the Bushiris have the right. So that is it from me. Uh, I just wanted to give you a biblical perspective of both sides, and then also learn how to think biblically about everything. If you like this type of content, do leave a like, and also consider to subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you won't miss a video. May God bless you. Until next time.